نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الکریم اما بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا ایوہ الذین آمنوا لا تسلوا عن اشیاء ان تبدا لکم تسوکم و ان تسلوا عنها حین ینزل القرآن و تبدا لکم اف اللہ عنها و اللہ غفور حلیم او یو بلیو تب دیز آر دی فنشنگ تچیز تو دی لیگل سسٹم اف اسلام hence these advices oh you who believe don't ask about those things that if they are disclosed to you you will feel annoyed don't ask such questions wa in tasalu and if you will ask hina yunazzal al quran when quran is being sent down tubla lakum it will be disclosed af allah anha Allah has left over them, left them over as a concession. Conceded to them something. I will explain. Wallahu ghafurun halim, and Allah is forgiving and forbearing. What does it mean? We find in a hadith that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has declared something absolutely clearly haram. And something on the other side absolutely clearly halal. Permissible, forbidden. In between, there is a very wide field of mustabihat. So many things are not mentioned. And one, one you know, at some times, he is at loss to, to say whether this thing belongs to this group or that group. Now, if you will ask, when Quran is being sent down, Allah will declare it. So this field of mubah, will become short. You will have more burden and more limitations on your shoulders. Don't think Allah has left them over due to some forgetfulness. In ghairi nisyanin, these are the words in hadith. Don't think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, had some. He just forgot to mention those things. He has not mentioned those things as a mercy to you. If it is declared haram and you commit it, you are a culprit. If it has not been haram, declared by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you can plead. Oh Allah, it was not declared haram. I never found it anywhere in the Quran, in the Hadith, that this is haram. So whatever is not haram is mubah, permissible. Although there might not be any positive proof of its being halal, The principle of jurisprudence in Islam is that everything is mubah unless proved otherwise. Unless it is proved it is haram. Not that everything is haram unless it is proved to be halal. That would have, you know, very much diminished the field of mubahat. But this is the principle which is absolutely in the opposite. Such questions were asked by the people who were before you. And then they lost their faith due to it. They increased their burden. What about this? What about this? What about this? And you know an incident happened. When Hajj was made compulsory and imperative, Ayah was revealed in Surah Ali Imran, وَلِنَّا سَعَلَ اللَّهِ جُّ الْبَيْتِ مَنِ اسْتَطَعَ إِلَيْهِ سَبِيلًا A Muslim stood up, O Prophet, is it imperative? It is obligatory every year? The Prophet Sassam turned his face to the other. He doesn't, doesn't reply. He comes to that side. Because he was, you know, a very knowledgeable person. He wanted to have all the knowledge. He said, what about? Every year. Again, the Prophet kept quiet. When he repeated the question for the third time, the Prophet Sassam became angry. And he said, if I say yes, it will become obligatory upon you forever. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, has left something, you know. Why do you want to increase your burden? By asking these questions. This was the habit, you know, of the Jews. And then, you know, one can very easily add to his burden. But to carry the burden is something else. Theoretically, you can add it to it. Add to the lists of duties and duties and duties and duties and obligations and everything first, first. But to perform all these things and fulfill all these obligations is not an easy job. Then you fail. 
باج اللہ بن بحیرت ولا صاحب ولا وسیرت ولا حامل او آئی کان گونٹ ڈیٹیل دیز آر دی فور ٹائپس آف اینیملس وچ یوز ٹو بی ڈیووٹیڈ ٹو دیئر آئیڈلس اینڈ یو نو سم شی کیمل ہیڈ گیون برتھ ٹو سو مینی کیملس ناؤ شی از سیٹ فری نو بڈی ووڈ ٹچ ہر تو ان دی سیم وے یو نو صاحبہ حام بحیرہ فرام سم یو نو ہی کیمل یو نو سو مینی شی کیملس ور فرٹیلائزڈ ناؤ Now he is free to roam about, just as in India, in Bharat we find, you know, sand. They roam about, you know, and nobody can touch them. All these things, you know, they were the customs of the Jahiliyyah. Ma ja'ad Allah, Allah has not declared, not appointed, nadir bahira, nor saiba, nor wasila, nor ham. Walakinna ladhina kafaru yaftaroon ala Allahil kazim. Actually, these peoples who, who, who don't have any faith, They have concocted and they have attributed these things to Allah. وَأَكْسَرْهُمْ لَا يَاقِلُونَ And most of them, they don't use their intellects. بَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ تَعَلَوْا إِلَىٰ مَا عَنْزَ اللَّهُ وَإِلَىٰ الرَّسُولِ And when it is said to them, Oh, come to Allah. But Allah has sent down and come to His Prophet. He will tell you what is halal, what is haram. You don't make conjectures yourself. قَالُوا حَسْبُنَا مَا وَجَدْنَا عَلَيْ عَبَانَا They say, no, sufficient is for us what we have found our forefathers to be doing. We don't need any, any new sharia. We don't need any new commandments. Our forefathers were not fools. They were committing, they were doing like this, they were doing like this. We, it's sufficient for us. Will they take to this attitude even though their fathers might have been knowing nothing? They might have been igno- ignorant. And they might not have been able to have the true guidance. Ya ayyuhal ladheen amanu alaykum man fusakum la yadurrukum man dhalla iza ahtadaytum. Ila Allah marja'ukum jameean fa yunabbiukum bima kuntum ta'amaloon. O oh, you who believe, upon you is the responsibility only of your own souls. Nobody will be able to do you any harm when you are on the right path. It's very important. I don't have any control except on myself. Even the Prophet couldn't have what he wanted. He wanted Abu Talib to say and utter these words of Shahada, Ashadu Allah, Ilaha illallah, wa Ashadu Anna Muhammad Rasulullah. But even his wish was not accomplished. You don't have any power. But you have power on your own self. So you are responsible basically for your own self. Ya ayu ladhin amanu alaykum anfusakum. La yadurrukum an dalla. Whosoever goes astray, he's not going to do you any harm. Izahta daytum when you are on the guided path. Ila Allah barjurukum jamiya. To Allah is your the return of all of you. For you nabbi yukum bima kuntum ta'abaloon. Then he will tell you, inform you fully of what you had been doing. But this ayah was misinterpreted by people even in the days so early as the days of the caliphate of Hazrat Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala. They misinterpreted how? And there's no need of da'wah, there's no need of tabli, there's no need of trying to convince people when you are responsible for your own self. This doesn't mean that. That is your obligation, you have to perform. But even if you have conveyed the message in the best of the ways, cleared it absolutely, you have not left any stone unturned on your behalf. Now, even if then he is not coming to the right path, you are not responsible. But if you are not doing, you know, your job, you will be responsible. It was your duty. So, you know, Hazrat Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala once he addressed the congregation that I, I feel and I am seeing that some of you, O Muslims, they are misinterpreting this ayah. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't make dawah and you shouldn't, you shouldn't try to, you know, reform people. 
and to uh, enjoin them to whatever is good and to forbid them from whatever is wrong. This is, this is imperative. This is obligatory. This is your duty. You have to do. If you have done your duty, even then if somebody is not coming to the right path, okay, you will not be responsible on the day of judgment. Even if he is your own son. But if you have not tried to bring him up in the correct way, Islamically, then you are responsible. So then he narrated upon him a hadith, Hazrat Abu Bakr read out a hadith to the, to the congregation. When people are seeing a thing forbidden and do not try to eradicate it, it is well nigh that Allah may punish all of them. Something wrong is being done. I see it with my own eyes. I don't say it. It is wrong. Please don't do it. Then if the punishment comes, I will also be included in, the, in those who are punished. 